Before we dive into this week's doll makeover, let's thank the sponsor of this episode, Skillshare. And I'm really very happy to start the new year with my favorite learning community. This is my third year on Skillshare as a user. I've told you already in the past that I saw some other YouTuber giving away free premium membership, so I decided to give it a try because I saw some art classes that interested me at the moment. Yeah, and I stayed at the platform since then finishing multiple classes on different topics. I've learned how to use Procreate starting from zero and evolving into a very advanced user using just Skillshare classes. Then I finished multiple photo and video making classes. Yeah, there is a very wide choice of them. But the class that I took lately, it wasn't actually about drawing or photography, but it was about productivity. Because I really want to be able to produce more results from my work, like more dolls, more art, more videos, while still enjoying the process and staying away from a burnout, you know, just having fun with it. And this class really worked for me. It's called Productivity Masterclass Principles and Tools to Boost Your Productivity by Ali Abdal. Some of you probably already know Ali from his YouTube channel. He is a practicing doctor. He is a teacher of physiology. He has a successful YouTube channel, a podcast, and a whole bunch of different hobbies. So he's clearly super productive, super smart, and he shares his method of solving that productivity equation in his class. Honestly, I think this is one of the best classes on productivity I've ever followed. It also has some huge amount of views. And also all the reviews are super positive. So for me it worked as well. You maybe noticed that I uploaded every week a video in December. And I also experimented with new dolls and new topics for my videos. Well, this is mostly because of this Skillshare class. Like someone said in their review, you simply go from being lazy to being unstoppable. And that's true. So guys, highly recommend it. And also the entire catalog of classes is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese is in German, so it's easy to follow for people around the world. So, and if you're curious about Skillshare and if you want to give it a try, now you have a unique opportunity to explore the entire Skillshare class library completely for free, because the first thousand people to use the link in the description box under this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. So, go there, check it out, and I'm quite sure that you're gonna like it, guys. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring my video and now let's go and repaint some dolls! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, I think that the new year we should start with a completely new type of a doll something that I've never customized before, you know, like new year, new me, <laughs> something like this. And that's why today we're going to customize for the very first time a Barbie Silkstone doll. I've got this doll as a gift from the nicest person from the UK. Thank you so much. You know who you are. You know who you are and you know how happy you made me with your gift, with this box full of beautiful dolls. So I just couldn't wait. I immediately grabbed this Barbie Silkstone and she's gonna be the first one to customize in 2022. And I can tell you honestly, I was looking at Barbie Silkstone dolls for a very long time, like literally for years, but I never felt like good enough for them. I wasn't sure if I could make these dolls even better because they were already so perfect. But yeah, now I own one of them and today we're going to experiment, we're going to take a closer look at this doll, we're going to remove her face, remove her hair and we're going to give her a completely new look and yeah, by the end of this video we will know if I am good enough, <laughs> if my skills are enough to make this perfect beautiful Barbie Silkstone doll even better. And this is one of these anniversary dolls. 
this is this one. Uh, this is a copy of the very first Barbie doll that was released on the market. I had seen a giant copy of this doll in Prague in the Barbie Museum, in the Doll Museum, and they have their huge Barbie exposition. Uh, and they have there this doll, like my size, really, like, I don't know, meter 60, meter 70. She's huge. So now I have this doll in a normal doll size, normal doll format. So let's take a closer look now at this doll probably and then we're going to remove her hair, makeup, everything and we're going to start working. So guys, of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes because it's really, really, really important. So and now let's start working. So, the box looks super stylish outside as well as inside. It all feels super high-end, such as silky carton, really very pretty. Here on the back of this pink box you can find the certificate of authenticity, and this is how it looks from close. And if I untie all these satin ribbons, I will be able to set the doll free. And here she is, guys. Oh my god. My first impression is that she's super heavy because of this material her body is made of. It's a very hard plastic that mimics porcelain and it indeed feels very silky, very nice, but she's super heavy, really very heavy. Yeah, this doll is not really possible, but this is how it was in the old times. Her face is super cute. Her hair is a little bit messy, especially the bangs, but we will fix it. Then she has these adorable nails, painted red, and also this super tiny pair of shoes. Adorable, really love it. Her swimsuit also looks very genuine and very adorable. And then she also has a pair of vintage sunglasses. But yeah, guys, although I really love this doll, we all have come together today to destroy her and to give her a big makeover. So it means it's time to undress her, to cut off her hair and to remove her face with pure acetone. Yeah, and her hair is placed just like this. This is also how they did it in the old times. I wonder why, by the way. Because it was faster and cheaper or because they didn't really have the technology yet. Really curious about it. I really hope her head is removable because it's been made out of some very hard kind of material. It feels almost plastic, but I don't know. Let's see. Maybe it will become softer if I warm it up with a hair dryer for a couple of minutes. But right now it's really super hard, like plastic hard. And check it out, it becomes soft and it went off without much effort. Good.
this is how the hat looks without anything. Really cute, really special. Here on the back it says Mattel 1958. So I think they really used the original old mold to make her hat. So really cool. Well, and now let's spray her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant to make it matte. And then I will start working on her new face using soft pastels and watercolor pencils. And you know, since these first Barbie dolls were inspired by the biggest film stars of the time, I decided to create my own vintage version of a Marilyn Monroe doll, since she was the biggest film star of the time. I will not try to make her too realistic today, because this face mold is quite cartoonish and very heavy contouring would look, I don't know, out of place here. But let's make her super glamorous, very intriguing. And anyway, my main goal for today is just playing with this doll, experimenting, exploring, like since this is a completely new type of doll for me. So this is where I will stop working on her face. Normally the next step would be blushing her body, but I'm going to wait with it at least for now. Because first of all, I need to make a dress for this doll. And I will use this body to fit the dress since this is the only silk stone body in my collection. So I better first do the sewing and then I will blush the body because this body blush is quite easy to damage. And then there is also another thing, you know, I'm not really 100% sure if I want to sand and blush this beautiful body that feels like porcelain. 
The skin tone difference between the face and the body is not that big this time, so I could use this body like it is. Here is just this black stain. I should try to remove it carefully, probably. But anyway, we will decide it all a little bit later what to do about her body. And right now, let's make a dress. So, I've decided to go for this legendary white dress. It appears in the Seven Year Each movie in 1955. So, the makers of the doll have seen it 100% because the doll was released in uh, 1959, but the face mold, as you can see, was finished already in 1958. So, I think somewhere in 56, 57, they were actively working on it. So, I think it would be quite a right look to choose for this vintage Barbie. And look, I've bought this fabric. I think it's just perfect for this dress. It just couldn't be better. I was extremely happy when I found it. So, now let's turn it into a legendary outfit. The bodies I will make out of two layers. First of all, I will make a base out of silk. Something that is, would be not stretchy. And then I will cover this silk top with a layer of this crimped fabric. Then I can attach two parts that will cover the breasts of the doll. And after this I attach a skirt to the dress. Now I'm going to attach a white satin ribbon to the area around her waistline. You can see it on the original dress. Then I've attached velcro to the back of the dress off camera. And now I think the dress is finished. Look guys, it looks super realistic. I don't know, strange enough on camera it looks more see-through than in real life. I don't know, maybe my strong studio lights are just making this very light white fabric almost invisible, I don't know, but it doesn't look as much provocative in real life. I noticed that it's a little bit see-through just when I saw it on my camera screen, so I hope it will look good in pictures, as good as in real life. So, I'm going to put this dress aside, and now we are going to paint her original shoes with white acrylics. Marilyn Monroe wears very similar open shoes with this dress, so I don't have to invent anything special here today. Mm -hmm. 
So the outfit is finished, it looks super realistic and a little so 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 instagrammable, you can see immediately that this is a mini Marilyn Monroe dress. So now let's move on to her hair and I want to give her the best hair that I have in my collection. This is premium alpaca hair. I bought it especially for my blonde Billie Eilish doll and I still have some of it left. So I think my vintage Marilyn Monroe deserves this beautiful hair as well. And I'm going to start with attaching her hair to the head using tacky glue. wild hair two days later everything seems to be dry everything looks good so now I'm going to cut and style her hair and I can tell you honestly guys there is nothing more challenging for me than styling short curly hair on dolls this is a real torture for me but I have no choice at this point so let's just do it
And this is what I've made after four hours of curling and brushing. I told you it was challenging, but the result is actually much better than I expected it to be. So I'm super happy. This hair looks really super cute, but I was just thinking all this time that something was kind of missing in her face. And right now I have finally realized that I completely forgot about her beauty mark on the cheek. But thank God it's not too late yet. So and now I still need to decide if I want to blush her body. Look, I will try to remove the stain now with some simple alcohol containing product. And if it goes off, I will not blush the body and I will just keep it like it is. Well, the spot is gone. It was really easy, it was immediately gone. But I have decided to blush her body anyway, really, don't ask. <laughs> Just a very spontaneous decision. I just thought she would look more finished if her body has the same shade and dimension like her face. And it's not that difficult after all, so let's sand, spray and blush it. And after this we will finally put everything together and take a look at the end result pictures. And here is finally the result of my very first vintage Barbie makeover. I didn't even know what to expect of it, really. This was the project when I didn't know what the end result would look like. And this is exactly what has made this project so interesting for me. And I'm really happy that she looks really good and really special after my repaint and for sure not worse than she was before. This is probably how a special collection Marilyn Monroe doll would look if she was released in the 50s. The dress looks really good and very realistic, really proud of myself because my mom is busy already for a couple of months renovating their apartment and she has simply no time left for doll dresses, so I have to do everything myself nowadays, <laughs> hard life really. But she is normally almost done there and very soon she will make an outfit for the second Sanderson sister, so hopefully my mom's return to the channel with her new outfits will happen somewhere in February probably, so fingers crossed. And this doll I've decided to keep for myself because she's so special, I'm not going to sell her. And you know, I also have a bunch of old Barbie clothes that my mom made when I was a kid. So I think it would fit this Barbie silkstone body. And it would be really fun for me to try all these doll clothes from my childhood on this beautiful Marilyn Monroe Barbie. So I will show you later how it all looks if it works. So and that was my doll transformation of the week guys, I really hope you enjoyed it today and if so please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and I will see you already very soon, I don't know yet, maybe next week, maybe in two weeks, don't know, working on something really big, like literally big right now, so I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but anyway, I will see you very, very, very soon in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye.